passing lighters over conversation Over dusty drums in the backdrop Under complicated syncopation dripping flavor Yo, hello, it's Revy here And in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the Lego character animation you guys saw in the beginning If you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that out I have some editing packs there that could uh, help you in your editing and uh, yeah let's get uh, right into this so the first thing we're going to do is to add a solid layer i've just made a solid la layer here and named it uh, lego and then we're going to add element we're going to press scene setup and here we're going to import a lego 3d model basically and it will be a link to the model in the description so you guys can download it so do that first and when you have imported it should look something like this now the lego the character is very very tiny here, but uh, you can uh, see it uh, down there. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to add a material to this. So you're going to open up here, presets, material, physical, and then choose chrome here. So it has a little reflection to it. And uh, after that you're going to press OK. And uh, yeah, that's our Lego character. <laughs> it's very very small. Uh, so you're going to fix that now. Yeah, you're going to go to the beginning of our animation, which is at zero seconds, and uh, and the whole animation is going to be seven seconds. You're going to open up group one, particle replicator, rotation, particle look, and then multi object. Enable it just like that. So now we have all the settings open here, and we are going to just increase the particle size a little bit so we can see our lego character sort of by changing the position because i want want the lego character to like pop up from the bottom of the of the screen here so i'm going to change the position here to around yeah 1100 something like that around there and then i can press the clock on the position there and after that we are going to change the rotation to 90 on the lego character so the lego character is pointing forward basically yeah you can start to keyframe here as well and then we're going to change the multi object here so we're going to turn up the displays to 30 basically gets thrown into pieces the whole lego character you okay, guys can see here if we turn this down a little bit as you can see the pieces fly away basically and you can also press the clock there and we're also going to increase this rotation randomness here to 266 just to add some more motion to our animation we're going to press the clock there as well and now we're going to set the particle size to zero press the clock there as well and then we're going to go to three seconds and here we can set the position back to the normal which is 520 if you use fhd as your resolution and then the particle size here should be 500 and the rotation random multi should be zero and the displays should also be zero as well so now you have your lego character here and the animation looks something like this now boom now we can open up particle replicator and then rotation here and we can set one more keyframe here for the uh, 90 degrees and also set the set rotation to 15 degrees and also set the set rotation to minus 50 degrees so it tilts a little bit looks clean and then we're going to go to seven seconds and then rotate this y rotation three laps so one two three and, and don't forget to end the third lap on 90 degrees as well so it becomes the same as the starting point the animation looks something like this now boom Now we're going to be adding a gold texture to this and I'm going to drag one in. We can search up gold texture on uh, Google and uh, find a texture you like. thought this looked good. So you can close down group one here on element. Run the settings and here you can choose your new gold texture you just added. So you get something like this. Looks kind of weird now but uh, you can open up rotate environment here and adjust your texture use the y rotation here and set it to 199 here thought that looked good and then you're going to go down to ambient occlusion and enable ao increase the ssao intensity to 50 and then the ssao sample to 64 and it looks something like this now pretty pretty clean and realistic so now you are done with the element part and we are just going to add a adjustment layer now by pressing ctrl alt y and here we're going to add a deep low and you're going to set it at 2000 on the radius and the exposure should be zero in the beginning you can press the clock here and uh, that should be good go to the three second marker 
and set the exposure there to 1.5 and then go to 7 seconds and set the exposure to 0 0.75 and then you're going to open up the adjustment layer effects deep low mark the keyframes you made press f9 open up the graph here and then we're going to make a little impact here for the three second marker so you're going to drag that one all the way there to the middle this one all the way down there and the other one should be something like this now if you want to make it a little bit more realistic you can add rsmb so yeah now you will get something like this which i thought looked pretty pretty clean and uh, and gave me really nostalgic uh, feelings <laughs> Uh, from the lego video games if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe if you have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment that down below and don't forget to check out my website check out my socials join my discord server and uh, yeah i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day